Hello. I'm Atuba Jod. Now, we've been talking about walking in divine health or living in divine health. Now, why should we live in divine health? Because God said in Exodus chapter 15 and verse 26, He says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. See, He introduced Himself as the God who heals us. Now, actually, what He said there is, I am your health. Praise God. Now, meaning I take responsibility for your well-being. That, that's what he actually meant. I am responsible. So that's why I say I am the Lord. Your health. I am the one who takes full responsibility for your health. Now, how does he do it? Now, that's what we're talking about towards the end of last week. Romans chapter 8 and verse 11. He does it by the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. Now, then, how does this work? I said something last week that I want to go back to. I said, he didn't say here that he that raised, let me just read. Say, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body. He didn't say, he didn't say, if, if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from there dwells in you, that spirit will quicken your mortal body. No, no, that's not what he said. I want you to catch this because if you don't understand this, you will not know how this thing works. Now he says, the one who raised Jesus from the dead is the same one who quickens your mortal body. So who quickens your mortal body? God. Now, you know, someone will be asking, what are you saying? Are you saying the Holy Spirit and God they are different you you see they are the same they are one but they operate differently and if you don't know their operations you will not know how to fully enjoy the benefit of 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 the workings of God in you I'm telling you the truth now then he says it is the one who raised Jesus from there that means God who declared himself as the one who's responsible for your health in, in Exodus now he says, he vitalizes or quickens your mortal body by the Holy Spirit that is in you. Now, how does this work? I'll show you. So John chapter 15. Now here he says, King James says, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Did you see that? Now, let me read this from the Amplified. It says, Amplified says, You are cleansed and pruned already because of the word which I have given you. Then in brackets it says, The teachings I have discussed with you. Now, as a child of God, Jesus said, It is better for you that I go because if I don't go the Holy Spirit will not come now he says when the Holy Spirit comes he will teach you all things he will guide into all truth now that's what Jesus said about the Holy Ghost now here it says if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead Romans 8 11, dwells in you he that raised up Christ from the dead will also quicken your mortal body so the Holy Spirit now is in us but guess what he does the Holy Spirit in us doesn't do things by himself. Jesus said he will not testify of himself. So the Holy Spirit is never going to speak of himself. Now that's why we call him Holy Spirit. Now I hope you know Holy Spirit is not a name. We just describe him. The reason we describe him is because Jesus said he's not going to testify of himself getting this so as i relate with the father now then maybe there's sickness in your body now this is practical you maybe there's a you're sick and you want to get healed listen to me right now there's sickness in my body i don't know what to do so what should i do this is what you should do father i know the truth you are my healer. You are responsible for my health. For you said so. 
in Deuteronomy. You are the God that heals me. So Lord, I bring myself under your mighty hand right now. And I trust that you bring health into my body now. I receive it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now hear me. As you are doing this, something will begin to happen. What's going to start happening? The word of God by the Holy Spirit. Now you are praying like this. Suddenly, you will begin to listen here. The word of God will begin to come to you, your spirit. Now what's going on? The Holy Spirit now. Because the Father you pray to have answered you. Now what's he going to do? When the Lord says, yes, I take responsibility for your healing now. The Holy Spirit goes to work. Now how does he work? See, he says here. He says, you are cleansed and pruned already because of the word which I have given to you. The teachings I discuss with you. Now, now why are you blessing the Lord? So that's why when you pray, spend time to bless the name of the Lord. While you're blessing the Lord, suddenly you begin to hear in your spirit teachings. Teachings. The Holy Spirit begins to talk to you. Now, do you know sometimes he, 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 oh, if you've never experienced this, I'm telling you the truth because I've experienced this. If you've never experienced this, this is what experience. And I'm telling you, I don't, I don't pray that you get sick. If you've been living in health, oh, beautiful. But you see, this is how you even sustain health. So you don't wait till you get sick to do this. You, you can go before the Lord and say, Lord, I just discovered that you're responsible for my health. So how does this work? I want you to teach me, see? And then he will begin to teach you. You know what? I'm going to continue on this tomorrow because our time is up right now. I hope you're enjoying this. Now, I'm just going to pick up from here tomorrow. Trust me. And, and, and the Spirit of God is going to finish up what he's doing. Praise God. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.